podcast live from Washington DC According to Sufis there are two ways one is the way of just just means intense energy is transferred and you feel as if there is intoxication sometimes in that state you feel the body is aching you cannot keep your eyes open that state is necessary when we need to work on the lower centers specifically nafs so intense energy is sent all those centers get start working in harmony with one another the other is the state of sulook this morning session was that of sulook very mild fragrance breeze whatsoever you can call the energy flows in a very mild way you do not feel to keep your eyes open yet still there is a state of surur a state of bliss something is happening that you just do not want to keep your eyes open a very mild energy field flows this works at the level of the mind very mild so there are certain masters who are established whose very mukam is that of sulook and others whose mukam is that of jas but then these are the two techniques that masters use from time to time and this morning session was that of sulook very mild the just the energy is flowing you just keep remaining quiet the body remains quiet undisturbed no kind of tension is there and you keep your eyes closed mildly you are not absorbed into something in the other one you feel as if that a very strong hurricane kind of an energy has flown into you and sometimes it becomes difficult to absorb you are that you already are this is one of the most important statement a seed is flower seed is fruit but you cannot see that seed could be a fruit seed to you is seed flower is flower and fruit is fruit these are the stages a seed remains to you seed until it goes through a process and begins to flower is still in that flower you cannot see the fruit because you cannot envision the fruit in the seed but the process that seed has to go through in the field of gardening it is known as it goes through the various stages the soil has to be prepared the flower bed has to be ready then at a particular time when there is a season the seed is planted and then it takes its own time 
part of his growth goes into the darkness which you can call as subconscious and unconscious and then when it has grown sufficiently is ready to surface come out of the womb of the earth it burst open the upper surface and comes out then it starts swinging its wings in the open sky under the the sky with breeze all around and light then its progress grows in a different realm when it is said that seed is flower if the seed is not flower then flower will not be there seed is the potentiality of the flower and flower is the fruition of the seed seed carries within its womb the potentiality to become a flower first and then when flower matures gives the way to fruit someone asked how long have you been growing the beard i said i was born with it you were born with it yes i was born with it but how can that be possible nobody is born with the beard i said that's the difference between me and others i was born with it I said explain how that is possible i said do you know that i am a man and the quality of a man he must have a beard you cannot conceive of a man without a beard except maybe the chinese they have a scanty so it is in the seed form it is not visible to you but it is there and it takes time for it to grow before it begins to be visible and then it goes through the various stages until it attains the great texture in the same way if you do not have the potentiality of being god or godly that is impossible that is the ultimate fruition of each one of you but you have to go through the process the austerities just as the seed has to be bought from the market shelf and you keep this seed until the season has come then you are preparing this flower bed with prop right kind of fertilizer and then the seed is planted seed takes its own time to grow the spirituality is that seed that you are born with the potentiality but you have to allow it to grow the right environment the company of the awakened one just as the seed will prosper in the company of the gardener gardener is the master of the seed which knows everything how and when to plant the seed and how to take care of the seed's various needs its needs at various stages and the moment gardener does it the flower attains to its full bloom and the seed when it blossoms it does not blossom crooked or a small flower 
He knows what kind of fertilizer is to be given so that the flower attains its fruition, its full bloom. There is a particular kind of a flower, Dahlia chrysanthemum. These have to be given a special kind of nourishment. So the color, the texture, the size of the flower remains optimum. So the master provides the right kind of environment from moment to moment, nourishes and nurtures awareness which when translated in the physical realm it becomes understanding and the process of the growth continues. In this various stages comes through but there has to be no doubt in your mind that I am not the seed, I am not that I am. I cannot grow. Every seed has the potentiality to blossom. But the doubt is one thing that prevents you from arriving home. Doubt is that we should not have. The doubt that God cannot be within you keeps you deprived of your inner treasures. Remember, every religion says, Islam says, God created man in his image. Where does the seed come from? What is the connectivity between the seed and the flower and the fruit? Seed, you start the journey from seed. Seed is planted, becomes flower. Before flower is ready to wither away, becomes fruit. Fruit carries many seeds. A mango has one seed. You can take the mango fruit, eat the fruit and throw the seed in the garbage. The process is stopped here in redemption. You have tasted the fruit and you found the fruit was very tasty. You want the process of the fruition to continue, you plant the seed and out of that seed thousands of more flowers, mangoes will come. That seed will become a plant and when time is ripe, from that plant many fruits will come and each Fruit, when it is consumed, it is planted, it will bring many more fruits and flowers. The potentiality is within each one of you. God is within you and that means you are already home. You have never left the home in the first place that all is okay as it is, just relax and it is yours. This morning's meditation session revealed that as long as the body remains relaxed, you feel a state of sudhu. It's not that you have to seek and search, you are already there. Just relax into it and all is yours. But the doubt has another journey. 
it asserts how can God be within you? Can you imagine how can the flower be or the fruit be inside the seed? If you open the seed, you will not find anything inside. Then where is the potentiality? It is embedded into very texture of the seed. It is invisible. The flower is invisible in the seed. You do not have the eyes to see it like that of a gardener who the moment sees the seed, he knows this is the seed of this particular flower. Doubt asserts how can God be within us because all your life you have been taught and conditioned that God is up high in the sky in the seventh heaven, sitting on the golden throne, surrounded by his angels, playing on his harp, singing. So how can God be within you? He is far away. He is big. He is huge. He is eternal. He is this and he is that. How can he be in your heart? And how much is this space? And when you talk about biological heart, how can there be God? Such a tiny heart and you are full of sins. How can God be in your heart? You are so ugly and so horrible looking and you condemn yourself in a thousand and one ways continuously. You have been taught all this from your childhood and such is our religious upbringing, your heritage. You have not been told that you are already that you are. Only thing is this, I have to nourish and nurture you so that your potentiality attains fruition. And Khalil Gibran very beautifully says in the Prophet, the disciple Al-Mitra comes and asks the Master, Al-Mustafa, Master, what about love and children? First he says, let there be a distance in love. Let there be distance in love. Children are born through you. Give them your love. Give them your care. And in that, when you are sharing your love, love becomes understanding. Because love is light. Light is understanding. When there is light, it lightens up everything within you. The room that has been dark, the moment light comes in, everything becomes visible. Automatically, a different kind of understanding comes in you. You have been taught all this from your childhood. This is your heritage. How can God be there? If God is there in you, then where the devil will be? And they are the two sides of the same coin. Doubt finds a dwelling abode in you permanently. And when somebody says God is within you, you cannot accept it. You have heard it many times, Jesus saying, People, the kingdom of God is within you. But even the Christians and the followers do not listen. This is one of the greatest drawback that we do not listen. 
not only that even the intimate followers and immediate followers of Jesus go on asking about God who is in the heaven and Jesus goes on saying he is within you and they go on talking about God that exists in the heaven and they go on saying that when we will die how we will reach live in paradise who will be at the right hand of the God and who will be at the left what will be our position there who will be and what will be the hierarchy of us sitting in the paradise and Jesus goes on saying God is within you but nobody believes because you have not been taught to trust yourself yes I have that potentiality I can attain to that I have that potentiality to be a fabric designer very important that is a seed you have to allow it to grow but this does not come it will not grow if you just let it remain and put it on the shelf you have to go through the process of allowing this to blossom and how that can work you have to go through the training you have to learn you have to practice you spend as much time as possible and a stage will come that no matter what you are doing your mind is designed you are walking you are seeing a flower something strikes you a design is formed in your head you come back the process is attaining an impetus, a way to grow in you. I do not need to sit down and write something. Sometimes we'll stop the car driving along the highway by the roadside, write something, post it. So that is the stage comes. But you have, first of all, the trust in you. Yes, I have that capability to attain to that. Then the people in your area surrounding will start seeing that kind of determination. The whole journey begins. From your very birth, you have been distracted from your being. Everyone has condemned you, including your parents, teachers, priests and your politicians. Everyone has condemned you and said you, you are not right as you are. You have to become right first. You have to attain to some kind of perfection first. Goals have to be given to you. And because of those goals and those perfectionist ideas, you remain condemned and the process of transformation does not begin. How can you receive the message that God is within you? You are already home that you have never left it in the first place, that all is okay as it is just relax and it is yours not that you have to search and seek instead you have to relax into it and it is yours you have planted the seed it will grow on its own you have to allow all the nourishment that is necessary Doubt is natural to arise in you. Is God within me? And my father was saying you are the ugliest kid in the town. You are devil. 
my mother was saying why didn't you die you are a condemnation to the family you are a disgrace to the family we are sorry that we gave you the birth all these things should not be uttered to the children and your teacher was saying that you are such a fool and priest was saying you are bound for hell that you are sinner but i have never said to anyone things like these the other night i was reading about an indian mystic who was invited into a christian church after the talk the christian priest shouted loudly to the congregation all you sinners now kneel down and pray kneel down in prayer they all kneel down except the mystic the hindu mystic did not kneel down the priest looked at him and said are you not going to participate with us in the prayer the mystic responded yes indeed i was going to participate but i am not a sinner and i do not see that anyone else here is a sinner i was going to participate in the prayers but now you have made it impossible for me i cannot kneel down i am not a sinner god is within me in the seat form how can i kneel down i cannot be that disrespectful to god that is within me god is within me and i make him kneel down with me who is going to kneel down is devil going to kneel down or god is going to kneel down i can pray only because god is within me and i am not praying for anything my prayer is my thankfulness my gratitude for all that he has already given to me my thankfulness is that he has chosen me as his abode he has honored me that i am part of him that he dwells deep within me though i become oblivious of his presence he belongs to me i am ready to pray i am ready to kneel down but not as a sinner because that is not true you have been taught that you are sinners that unless jesus saves you are bound to go to hell you have been condemned so much that this eastern message burst forth in your being you start doubting to you this is not possible and i have never left home maybe it is true about buddha maybe it is true about jesus but not about me i am a sinner nobody is a sinner even while you are in the darkest hole of your life you are still divine you cannot lose your divinity even for a moment if you are told that you have lost your divinity then that cannot be divinity if the seed loses its potentiality to become a flower then it is not a root is a mango seed mango seed cannot lose the potentiality of becoming a mango maybe it has not got the right environment it never came out of came off the shelf but to say that mango seed is not a mango seed it's erroneous mango seed is mango seed because it has the potentiality of being the mango 
you are divine to the very core of your existence and that is for sure. Even in the darkest hour when you were asleep, you were divine. You cannot lose your divinity. When the seed was on the shelf, inside the packet, was it not a mango seed or a chrysanthemum seed or that? In every state of its growth, it was the seed. If you are told that you have lost your divinity, then you cannot be divine. There is no way to lose it. It is your very being. It is the intrinsic nature. It is the stuff that you are made of. Indeed, doubt is reinforced by everyone around you. You have to have the trust in yourself first. Yes, the God, that which is in me will guide my steps and your trust in your own capabilities and the force that lies within you will allow you to grow and attain fruition. That is why I say love is only when somebody accepts you as divine. He reinforces the truth that you are divine. If anybody reinforces the otherwise untruth that you are not divine, it is not love. She may be your mother, he may be your father, it does not matter. If anybody gives you a self-condemnatory idea, he is not worth a penny. He is poisoning you. Never poison the children. And for that matter, never poison anyone. Anyone who comes into your contact, Give him that trust because this is the first and the foremost requirement. If anybody says that you are not accepted as you are, that God will love you only if you acquire or fulfill certain conditions, then he is destroying you. He is your enemy. Be aware of him. First and the foremost things is in the realm of the master, he accepts you as you are. And then he knows how to nourish and nurture each and every consciousness, each and every person. And then according to the potentiality of the person, the love begins to assume or shine for that potentiality to grow in the person. Just as one child has a lineage towards this, one disciple has a lineage towards the master prepares him for that quality to blossom out of him. He attains to that kind of the light when it shines. It activates those qualities and he blossoms as a different person to shine one of the quality of that which is. All qualities belong to him. Someone need to be grown in this particular way. There are trends coming up when the spirituality and the science has to merge together. Someone who has a 
the spiritual understanding and the scientific understanding, the light will create a harmony between the two and that person will blossom in that way. Never condemn anyone, give them your total love and care and in that the seed begins to grow and blossom. And that is one of the most beautiful aspects of it. 